How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I have for you all some rank seasons gameplay. Before I get into this video I want to talk a little bit about a tournament that I'm going to be participating in today. I'm going to be uh, playing over on Twitch. I'm going to be playing live uh, twitch.tv forward slash college lefty a link will be pinned in the comment section down below I'm gonna be participating in the young guns tournament and that will be on legend difficulty It's gonna be in a couple hours after I upload this video But uh, basically I've been playing a lot of really tough games in rank seasons And I'm really looking forward to playing in this tournament as well as trying to make a push towards world series so that way I can play viewer games during the live stream as well. So if you aren't following me over there and would like a chance to play, hopefully we can make World Series within the next couple of days. And then I will be doing a random uh, generator to pick people that are a part of the stream. I've talked a little bit about that in previous uploads. And I kind of wanted to uh, start off the video by talking about that. Also, if you enjoy the content, please leave a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you are new. There we go, we got Jimmy Fox with a solo shot uh, facing this Jacob DeGrom. I've only tried out this card one time, and he's pretty effective. Uh, at the same time, he can be uh, hit or miss, I would say. I mean, pitching in this game is very difficult for the most part. Uh, I mean, I've been able to keep this opponent off balance, but at the same time, the, you can really break the game open at any moment against any pitcher. For whatever reason, I struggled using uh, Jacob DeGrom for even the one inning that I used him for. And uh, it seems like the opponents are, are pitching with him a lot better than I was able to. But anyway, uh, we have one nothing lead. We're facing Cattell Marte. Bob Feller is on the mound, and that's my ace pitcher. So I, I guess that this guy really likes using um, Jacob DeGrom simply because that's his number one pitcher as well. I'm not really sure what Rogers Hornsby was doing in this situation. Maybe a bad angle to the baseball. He'd missed it completely with his bare hand rather than uh, just fielding it with his glove and throwing it. But it does not cost me a run. Uh, most of the time it will, but this time he flies out to uh, center field, Willie Mays. He still has the Grom in the game, obviously. Only one hit so far, and that has been uh, the solo shot from Jimmy Fox. So pretty, uh, pretty poor offensive performance so far in this game. I have kind of gone into a little bit of a slump uh, somewhat. I've been able to put up, you know, five or six runs, seven runs in ranked seasons, but with my ERA being around the same, uh, five, five or six, then I've played a lot of close games. So I need to be able to put up a lot more than just one run through four innings. I need to put up, you know, a handful. Just so far in this game, I have had a couple opportunities, but I haven't really hit that well with guys in scoring position. Uh, for the most part, I need to stay a little bit more consistent and put together some good at-bats. Here we have a close play at third base. Uh, 50 speed gets in there safely. Uh, he has not really had that many opportunities to score either. I hung this pitch, and luckily he lines out to uh, center field. So kind of a pitcher's duel, which you don't normally see in uh, MLB The Show 19, especially in this year's game. Only a few base hits from each side, about one inning, and uh, uh, pretty much a couple solo shots or, you know, string together a couple base hits. That's really been the difference in the game. But uh, tied up at 1-1, one one, Lou Gehrig's going to get a seeing eye single through the hole there. That's going to be uh, a pretty big situation because we get... The middle of the lineup up, we have a great chance to kind of take the lead here with Rogers Hornsby. There is one down in the inning, and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm squaring this one up, but just hit it right to him. So far throughout the game, I've been able to hit into a couple double plays. Uh, has not really gone in my favor. A few times I've gotten on base, I just haven't really uh, squared the ball up with a runner on. I need to take a better pitch. I need to have a better approach in that situation, but uh, so far this guy is pretty good. He has kind of a budget team. He doesn't really have the most expensive players. But uh, he was able to get something going here. He, he smacks one with Jacob DeGrom, his pitcher, but it does result in a double play. So we're also uh, earning a double play. Here he has Cattell Marte up at the plate, a card that I picked up, but I have yet to really try out. I hung a fastball right over the middle of the plate. I say hung because I had early feedback. He's going to throw that. It's going to be a floater, a meatball pretty much, and he sends that one deep. Uh, you don't normally hear a hanging fastball, but at least in MLB The Show, it makes a little bit more sense because it does come in like a beach ball, and if you hit it, it's going out on a no-doubt shot. So even with early feedback, it was an outside pitch. Uh, the, here the opponent's getting a nice hit and run. This was a, a very nice play from him. I mean, it was a good pitch, a pitch I, I thought he was trying to steal, and I was trying to throw him out, but he hits it right where the shortstop is vacating. So he has a great opportunity right here. There is two outs, and he clutches up and gets a base knock uh, just out of the reach of Rogers Hornsby. Didn't even get an animation there. And now just like that, in this inning, we've given up a couple base hits. You know, 
a uh, couple runs as well. We have to go to our bullpen. Josh Hader, bring him, bring him in to face Cody Bellinger, and it worked out in that last one. But uh, had a great chance to break the game open right there. It's it's important that I was able to keep the game close. A two-run deficit uh, this late in the game. We still have a chance. There's still plenty of outs to work with. Still. A good chance to come back in this game, only halfway through the ball game. But uh, Ted Williams is up at the plate. We kind of got a, a freeze right here, a little bit of a lag. And that's just out of the reach, uh, 96 speed. I didn't expect that one to get down. I thought I was going to be able to advance, but uh, he didn't run right away either. Then Ted Williams is taken off for second. My uh, base running got a little bit messed up, and I probably should have been out anyway. Uh, I don't know why he didn't throw the ball either, but uh, anyway, it doesn't result in any runs. His third baseman, uh, I believe it was... Uh, Anthony Rendon is making one heck of a play there. Yep, he's up here at the plate right now. And uh, he's, I mean, basically changing the ball game. That base hit down the line was robbed. It could have tied the game up. And luckily, he didn't hit a solo shot right there and change the game even more. I mean, you see it all the time in Major League Baseball where a player makes a great play on defense. They come up to uh, start the next inning off and lead it off with a, a home run or an extra base hit, something like that. It is pretty cool to see, but you never want that to happen against you in the video game. Anyway, Babe Ruth hits that one uh, the other way through the infield there. That pitch was outside, off the plate. We have something uh, kind of cooking right here, and once again, a double play from Lou Gehrig. I have no idea what happened with the uh, feedback right there that kind of the screen went a little bit crazy, but he does turn the double play, and it's a 3-1 to one game. We have Billy Wagner in on the mound, and he was pitching pretty well for me. His second inning of work, got a couple strikeouts. Uh, Honus Wagner squares this one up and lines out to left field. I was a little bit on top of that, and I hit it for a line drive. Kind of a crazy swing, but uh, just in this game specifically, I was not really able to get anything going at the plate. This guy was pitching pretty well for the most part. The pitches that he threw over the middle, I was kind of um, just getting under, just getting on top of them. I mean, hitting it right to his players. I have seven hits in the ball game, but I have not hit with runners in scoring position. So kind of an interesting game. We still have a chance, though. Down to the eighth inning. We have only six outs left to work with. We have to hold the opponent as well. So it makes the game a little bit interesting at this point. We, we don't really have uh, the greatest bullpen at this point in time. I mean, some of the guys are rested. Some of the guys are a little bit tired. We've played some pretty good games of ranked season so far up until this point. And uh, we, we're trying to scrap this game together, try and figure out a way to minimize and uh, try and make the comeback as well. I mean, this guy has uh, has played pretty well throughout this entire game. He has, you know, had some pretty good at-bats. He's started off a little bit slow, just like I did. But uh, he has 11 hits. He's outplaying me pretty much in, in every aspect of the game. And uh, we both have, you know, a couple late hits, a couple questionable hits as well. And a lot of good squared up lineouts. I mean, this one with Griffey tracked down by Willie Mays out there. I feel like, you know, we both could have a couple more runs. I notice I say that sometimes and uh, quite often actually in ranked seasons where I feel like, you know, there are runs left off the board a lot of times in some of these games. So uh, Bellinger is going to cut the lead in half there. That's a pretty big hit in the bottom of the eighth. Nobody down. It gets the confidence down a little bit on the pitcher. He ended up taking him out to face Griffey. Uh, here in the bottom of the eighth, now we have Willie Mays up against Josh Hader, and that's a pretty good matchup. I mean, Willie Mays is one of the best hitters against lefties in the entire game. Could be uh, the best all-around player in the entire game if you like that type of swing, if you're really good with that type of swing. I personally uh, like using Babe Ruth. Here we have a good opportunity in the bottom of the eighth. Still nobody down in the inning, lefty on lefty, and I actually hit against lefties better with Babe Ruth than I do against righties, which is kind of interesting. A lot of times people throw uh, fastballs inside. This guy's throwing uh, fastballs in. He's also mixed in the slider as well. Here he's going right to it, and I felt like that was going to be a fastball. I, I did not react to it right in time, but that was the fastball. I sat on it and uh, smack it out to right field. He turns off his PlayStation immediately, and uh, that was a pretty quick uh, disconnect or lost connection anyway but uh, we move up to 865 this is right around where I'm currently at in ranked seasons I have played a lot of tough games a lot of close games I will be uploading some more highlights but once again I'll also be playing uh, live on Twitch uh, playing in this tournament so hopefully you guys check it out if you have some time also enjoy the weekend and there is going to be some you know NFL playoff games going on so I completely understand but thank you all for watching this video and uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day peace out